Hey, welcome back everybody. We have another TTM video to get to. We've got five today. We get autographs TTM through the mail. We send our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs TTM through the mail. When we get results, we come to YouTube and share the information. The first one's coming from DV Daniels, New Jersey. DV Daniels, New Jersey. Named after a congressman they had up there in that area. Mirabella. Mirabella on the wall. Paul Mirabella, 89 Fleer. We love the 89 Fleer set. 83 Donruss, 82 Donruss. 69 year old lefty. 13 seasons, 78 to 90. Six or seven different teams. Final four with the Brewers there, as you see on the 89 Fleer. Finished 19 and 29 overall, mostly as a uh, relief pitcher. Nine days, no fee for Mirabella on the wall. Who's got the fairest curveball of them all? Next up, Atlanta Metro. Must be in the Metro. Hot Atlanta. Ooh, no index cards. Two Bill Curry cards. Was wondering if he did sign uh, duplicates. He does. And that is his rookie card on the 73 tops, even though he had been in the league for several years. Played 10 seasons, 65 to 74, and I believe that 73 is his rookie. Believe it or not, really good player, too. I don't know how they got away from not producing cards of Bill Curry. He's 81 years old now, football lifer, Georgia Tech legend. Went to Georgia Tech undergraduate and then went back there as a coach. And he won Super Bowl V with the Colts, Super Bowl I with the Packers in his second year. Played two years with the Packers, two times in the Pro Bowl. Then became a longtime assistant in the NFL, head coach in the college ranks, back at his alma mater, Georgia Tech. Then, oh, let me tell you about Alabama. Head coach at Alabama for a couple years, UK, University of Kentucky, and then most recently at Georgia State. Just under two weeks, 10, 11, 12 days for Bill Curry. Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida, Florida. Third one up today. Tampa. Garth Orge. Three of three from Garth Orge. Nice. There's the 83 Fleer. 82 tops and 88 tops. Is that traded? Nope. Nice and clean. Like a traded card. Garth. Pretty cool. 67 years old. 69 years old. Let's see. What's that birthday? 54, yeah, he's 69. Infielder, second base, third base. His brother, uh, Dane, played first base and outfield. He was kind of a middle infielder, second and third. Nine seasons. 1978, went down to the minors, came back 80 to 87. All for those Blue Jays. And uh, like I said, younger brother of Dane, who also signs TTM. He also became a longtime coach, minors and the major leagues, after his playing days. One week, seven days, no fee. Eight days, eight days, no fee. Garth, Orge, often mispronounced. All right, up next, Fort Myerhead, Fort Myers, Florida, Florida. Two in a row from Florida. Play another baseballer? No. Oh, yes, baby. There's the Rod Thorne rookie. Beautiful. Rod Thorne, Hall of Fame 18, 70 tops. Again, if you if your rookie year was after 1961, then your rookie card was typically the 70 tops because nobody produced cards from 61 to 70. And that's Rod Thorne's rookie, even though he had been in the league several seasons and been productive player for several seasons. But yeah, the West Virginia legend, West Virginia legislature coming out of high school officially declared him a natural resource. As a senior, Princeton High School, which said he had to remain in state if he was going to be a natural resource. And that helped him sign at WVU. And they pulled number 44 from Jerry West out of retirement. Jerry had just graduated from WVU a couple, maybe a year before. They allowed Rod Thorne to wear number 44. And he was a star at WVU, two time All American. Then he went for his pro career. Decent pro career. They forget he was a good player. 11 points, 
three rebounds, two and a half assists over the course of his career. Then he became a longtime assistant coach and front office executive. Coached for seven or eight years, front office exec for 30 years. Then he became the NBA's director of basketball operations. 60 years altogether. Talk about a lifer. (laughs) He's a lifer. Much like Bill Curry's a football lifer, Rod Thorne's a basketball lifer. And that ended up in the uh, Basketball Hall of Fame, as he says, in 2018. Let's get that slab. That's a slabable moment. How many days was that out? About a month. 26 days, no fee, Rod Thorne. No fee, Rod Thorne. Nice. San Diego, California. Last one. Tucson. Oh, there's Bob Skinner. Nice. He signs dupes. He wants a donation now. Three for ten, I think. Just send him something. He'll sign one for five, two for five. I think I sent ten because I had to do these two duplicates, these old cards. Now, is that a 55 or a 56? I think that's his second year card on the 56. His first year is a 55. And that's him as a coach. Another another lifer. I mean, he spent his entire career in the game of baseball. 92 years old now. And he was uh, outfielder. Another guy who spent his life in the sport. Thir- 13 seasons as a player. 54 to 66. And he coached or managed for another 20 seasons after that. And three times, people forget how good of a player he was. He was a three time All Star. We'll put these two together. And uh, won three World Series, two as a player. Of course, he was on the 60 World Series team with the Pirates. Then he got traded to the Cardinals and won a ring in 64. And then as a coach for the We Are Family Pirates in 79, he was an assistant coach under Chuck Tanner. And 79. So that's pretty cool. And that was real quick. 11 days. Yeah, 11 days. I think I sent $10 with the three cards. Uh, I've been known to send five and one. But anyway, just send something to Bob Skinner. He'll sign them. He still looks good for 92 years old. That's for sure. That's it. What you think? Let me, what, let me know down below what your favorite was. I think I'll have to go with the natural resource Rod Thorne. WVU's own college, West Virginia. Born in Weirton, it's the northern part of the state. He's raised down in Princeton, the very southern part of the state. So, WVU, Chicago, and now in Fort Myerhead. Again, let me know down below if you haven't subscribed yet. We try to do this twice a week. We have a lot of TTMs coming in. like to share the information. like to share what we get. And then when we get them slabbed up like we did... In Tuesday's video, we like to show those slabs. So if you missed uh, Monday's TTM video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Be prepared for a mail day video tomorrow. Thanks for being with me today, though, and we will see you soon.